what up everyone this is casual chris and in this video i want to show you guys an updated version of how i am um laying out my hi-hats check it out <laughs> I have been using Banks a lot more. If you are unfamiliar with Banks, Banks is basically this letter A there. Everything that sits on this pad is called a bank. So, what I've been doing now is I have been saving my banks. So anytime I lay out um, a closed hi-hat in this case, I'll save it um, and it'll save me a lot of time because generally I use the same five, three or, three or four hi-hats in every song. Um, this is a whole nother topic that we can go on for years, but I've really reduced the amount of samples that I've been using. Um, we'll see what that does, but it just, for me, it just helps me, um, it helps me get to it. So I'm not sitting here wasting time. And if you've been following my channel, you know that I am a firm believer in not wasting time and getting the idea on paper, on this iPad as fast as possible before I lose it, before it sounds whack to me, uh, before someone disturbs me. Uh, you know, the objective of me making music is to get it done as fast as possible so that I can come back to it or so I don't lose the actual idea. So everything that I've been doing is to get faster, is to be more productive, is to waste less time. So having said that, this is great for that. It is a, um, it allows you to save your entire banks. So I have my hi-hat saved. And I have it saved so that this is these this whole bottom row is you know all laid out there so I can touch it. This second row is pitched up. This third row is pitched a seventh. This is pitched three. So you know it allows me to you know play something relatively fast and have it already set up. So there's that. Save your banks. You do that by hitting this, save bank, and then you save it. So mine are already saved in here. Part one, save your banks, boom. So now that's how I do my hi-hats. I always have them saved. I always have the bank saved. Next, I have them in multiple ones so that if I, so I can use two fingers. I like playing them live. I mean, this is cool to do. Like if you aren't recording yourself and you're just trying to knock out a beat real quick, using the repeat is awesome. But if you want to look cool, um, <laughs> people like to see some action on the screen generally. So you can actually, you know, make your hi-hats, you know, so tap out your hi-hats, finger drum your hi-hats. Now, so I put them all on the same bank, and another reason why I do that is the update. The update changes the game with a new beatmaker update. It allows you to export your MIDI files um, so that you can go ahead and take it to a computer, and maybe you don't like the sound of this hi-hat. You can change it, or maybe you want to... Uh, replace this hi-hat with a piano you know see how that sounds so it allows you to change your sounds by bouncing your sounds out now the only thing about the midi export feature is it's it's bounced out per bank so everything on this bank is going to be in one you know so if you have a kick and drum um together a kick a snare and a hi-hat, which is my old way of doing it. I would just have multiple hi-hats. If you have that in the same bank and you exported that as a MIDI, it's going to show your kick, 
your MIDI and your hi-hats are going to be in one piano roll. So, you know, you, you, I mean, you made the song, you should know which, you know, which note on the piano is the kick and which note is the, the snare and which note is the hi-hat. Um, but it's just a little bit more time consuming. So allowing yourself to put all of it in one bank allows you to just take that entire piano roll and boom, you have your hi-hat, it's separated, it's there. You can adjust the volume of all of the hi-hats at once. So you're not having to, inju to adjust, you know, six different hi-hats. You know, it's fun to do. You can go ahead and do that. I, it, it does, you know, add to the character of your song. But for time consumption purposes, just having it in one bank so you can just lower the volume of all your hi-hats is valuable. As opposed to going in like this, seeing 12 different hi-hats and having to guess which hi-hat is the one that's annoying you the most or is too loud. So uh, for time consumption purposes, this is how to do it. In conclusion, save your banks. Lay your banks out like this. So the hi-hat's all the same note, all the same sample. Make sure the polyphony is, you know, if you want to hit two notes at the same time, make sure you change the polyphony here. Um, but other than that, uh, you are all set. Pitch them up so that you're not having to sit there and pitch up every single song. It's, it's ready to go. You can finger drum it out. You can export it as a, a MIDI and it'll be all in one piano roll, making it easy to go ahead and, and, and manipulate. It's all in one bank, so it's easy to adjust the volume as opposed to adjusting each individual one. So that's my new way of doing hi-hats. Um, for all my trap producers out there, uh, this will save you so much time and energy uh, doing it this way as opposed to any other way. Um, again, if I found out this way, I got this idea through uh, my comments. Shout out to the guy who uh, who said that in my comments. I, I got to give him a shout out. It's, I made an old video on how I did my hi-hats. Someone presented me with a better idea. Uh, which was this, and this was even before MIDI uh, export was a thing. And now that MIDI export is a thing, this is something you should all you should do. You should definitely separate your hi hats from your drum and your kick, um, for sidechain purposes. For anything, just separate them, make it simple, make it make life easier on yourself when you try to mix this baby down. So, thank you. Once again for tuning in, always appreciate you guys and have a great one.